Crack lads, it is the Midnight Kid here and welcome to my PEZ 2017 complete option file tutorial for PEZ Universe. And this is basically using version 1, which is available now to gold and silver members and it will be free up on the site also uh, tomorrow I think, which will be, depending on when this uploads, it will probably be Wednesday morning that it's available or else Tuesday evening. It depends when it goes live, we've been getting absolutely hammered on the site with traffic. But we're going to kick off obviously with some you know fairly basic instructions that if you follow these and if you follow this video you'll have no trouble so basically download the option file stick it on a USB into WePez folder boot up the game make sure it's a clean install if you don't know what that means I'll get into it in a second but basically have no other images in edit mode have no edit data whatever all you're doing is selecting the bins alphabetically in order per team per league and then bombing them in and then that's it you import all leagues through and that's it it's very very simple so we're gonna start you off and then we're gonna like skip a couple of the leagues um, and showing you here because there's no point it's just you know it's repet repetition and I could show you 50 minutes or 30 minutes of me putting everything in a lot of people asking how do I have how do I know do I have an edit data like a fresh install when you start edit data edit mode you should have this you'll have to create a new edit data if you don't you'll have to go to application settings on the dashboard go up to settings delete the application settings in PEZ 2017 delete the edit data and that's it it's done you don't need to delete your system data your replays any of that stuff you just delete the edit data and all your images as well so I'm going to give a quick run through this is what you need no image data in any of the folders basically that's it very simple so no edit data you'll need to create a new one and no images in the actual storage image list uh, section so that's it so as you can see there again as well for all the people that are gonna all the fake profile guys as I call them um, that are gonna be saying this doesn't work it's doing this it's doing that this is done in real time I just have it sped up obviously for the sake of this video so it's straight into competition structure sorry lads uh, we're going into competition structure we're going to be bringing the PEU league down to 18 draw size you can rewind that bit if you haven't seen it and now we're going to start importing so as I said I'm going to be skipping the import process for a lot of them because as I said it's rinse and repeat you're copying everything I will show you an error message that comes up sometimes though on how to get around it so straight off the bat we're going to do the Premier League and as I said go down in alphabetical order so we're going to start with Arsenal we're going to start with Bo or Arsenal then Bournemouth then Chelsea Crystal Palace um, and so on and so on and basically that's how you do it Burnley whatever um, so as I said it's very simple you're doing it league by league now as I said I will get into a separate issue uh, if you do it league by league and it crashes um, I'll get into it in a second but it's very very simple you you just basically do it every 10 teams now I would probably recommend doing every 10 teams first this is why I've started doing it so I've done from Arsenal to Man City then I'm going to go back in save that which is a vital step and then I'm going to go back in and do United to West Ham. Save that. There's your Premier League done. No errors, no not, and it's straight in. But you can do it league by league as well. So it's all good. Um, it's very, very handy. So, yeah, we are straight in with the BPL. It is in. It takes literally about 15 minutes uh, to do all the leagues if you do it, like, properly fast and stuff. But take your time with it. Get it right. I mean, it's only a small thing. This time last year, I mean, we were editing for literally, like, about 50 hours before you could have anything that looked nice. Um, so save your edit data, as I say. I'm saying that a lot. And put it in back into the image list, and that's all you need to do. So we're going to go in here and have a quick look. I'm not going to go through all the leagues uh, all the time, but I'm just going to show you. Basically, we have everything for the Premier League, everything for the Bundesliga, everything for La Liga 2, Portuguese, Skybet, and... La Liga 1 don't have manager stadium images that's all that they're missing uh, we will be adding in version 2 obviously but we just wanted to get a file out to you lads I mean we all have jobs we all have stuff to be doing but we're trying our best to get files out to you at the highest quality um, you know that nobody else really has I suppose so that is it so again you're just going to see here I've already installed the BPL the Skybet now is next um, and then we're going to go on from there. You can see Aston Villa is going through the motions, going through the motions, blah, blah, blah. There is Cardiff. There is the rest of the teams. To have a little check. Go through a couple of random teams. If a team doesn't go in or if it has a different kit or whatever, just reinstall it. I mean, look, we're we're pre we're basically adding half a gig of content here. It's going to have an effect in edit mode. It's going to have effect on the teams jumbling around all the bin files and stuff. So just have a check. I mean, it's not, you know what I mean? It's, it's not like we've created a game. We know exactly how it works. Um... But we have it pretty much locked on. So as you can see there as well, I've installed Juventus for the Serie A and imported Sassiola. They're the only two teams in the Serie A. 
And now I'm going to go on to the La Liga. And the Bundesliga is going to be in as well. Because there's one little key thing with the Bundesliga. And I also have a special little look. And first look uh, on my channel I suppose. At an extra team that is done by a fairly good beast. I won't say his name because it will give away the team. But uh, I'll tell you about him in a sec. And I'll tell you what he's done and how he's done it. And I'll also tell you about the Bundesliga. Which has been built from the ground up. So again there is La Liga done. Um, and as I said we only have the manager's... Uh, uh, image not uh, not there and the stadium image not there so that's that's basically it we will be adding that I mean look there's only so much time that we have amongst the whole team even though they are a bunch of legends um, that work their arses off I will say that about them but look we have a file out that is really really good it's got a load of third kits you know we've got United's uh, third kit in there we've got Real Madrid's we've got Sevilla's we've got Chelsea's I think there's a load of them in there uh, Leicester's so again I'm just going bombing through this again um, I have everything else in now we have a, an instructions tutorial but if you are struggling for what le teams to go in uh, just go on to Wikipedia and look at the order that they're going in now this is the Liga 1-2-3 the second division Spanish league that is done exclusively by Carrasco I don't think anyone else has done it so if you're getting it somewhere else go figure uh, but Carrasco is an absolute legend so it's a pity if people are stealing it but look it is what it is you can't do anything about it it's online um you know what I mean it's just the way of the world really people people are just you know scumbags or whatever but anyway with this right I'm going to get an error message because I've imported the whole league now what happens when you get an error message is it basically just boots you out this is what I talked about earlier you're going to see that it's gone it's gone it's gone it's gone it's gone it goes to Cordoba and it's going to stop right here loading failed so I'm going to confirm that and I'm going to say okay that's grand what are you trying to tell me is it fucked do I need to deject the disk no nothing you basically leave it as it is let it run through um, you see this error code a lot you know in Call of Duty or whatever if you can't connect to the server or whatever um, I don't know what it is I mean I don't know and I don't want to know it doesn't really make a difference I'm going to go straight back Back in and import the whole league but I'm actually going to import it in two batches I'm going to import it in 10 and 10 and that's basically how I will do it and that will go in no problem the team Cordoba goes in straight away Cadiz and it goes in and then I'm going to put in Cordoba and the rest of them save it as I go and as you can see here I've got the full La Liga I've got the full second division La Liga and that is pretty sweet we've got all the managers rival clubs stadium images everything the works so yeah um, that's pretty beastly from Carrasco so huge thanks to him to the Bundesliga now I need to put a bit of a tip in here because when you are installing the Bundesliga obviously we have it built from the ground up all the stats are in the player faces are in it's been a massive massive project from the lads to be honest with kits faces everything I'll leave a link in all in the description to all the team you need to choose apply player data it's the second box right there in the edit mode just as before you install in import it for every other team you don't need to do it La Liga Skybet Premier League you don't need to take any of the boxes for but for the Bundesliga you need to take the second box or else the players won't be drawn in yeah, so I hope that you actually listen to that because it's a huge thing I guarantee you that there will be a comment below in the comments in about 20 minutes time how do you get the Bundesliga players I imported there's no players there I guarantee you so if you are struggling with that click the second box and I'm going to show you when you click the first box as well because I'm going to show you a little preview of an extra team that gold and silver members are getting for their support to Pez Universe and it's going to be rolling out to the free guys as well obviously because everything is going to be free it's just I suppose that we have a lot of stuff planned that we haven't announced yet uh, for the silver and gold members I mean I know there's certain people out there that want to bad talk us whatever I mean um it is what it is. I mean, you'll always get those guys. As I said, the fake, the fake profile makers is what I call them. But anyway, look onto onto other things. The league emblems are next. You need to manually do this. So what you need to do is you need to go into data management, import images, competition emblems. Click on them. Click on all. There's about forty or so. Uh, competition emblem so we're talking about you know we've got the Premier League new logo the Lion we've got the Skybet we've got La Liga we've got Bundesliga basically all the images that you're seeing here ignore the kits ignore the crests ignore the stadiums ignore the kits as I said before everything just the competition emblems put it in and uh, that's basically it and you know as I keep saying to you lads you just need to follow this tutorial put it in it's very very simple and I'm going to show you here again save 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 I can't stress that enough because a lot of people don't do it and then their game crashes and they've nothing because they haven't saved it if they don't go out of edit mode because it doesn't save until then again with the Bundesliga right we've already made the draw size 18 
and just pick the teams out from the other European teams. So you've got, you know, Leverkusen, Dortmund and Schalke that are licensed. And now you've got all the, the ones that we fix as well. As I said, completely full of... Um, just fully updated faces built I'm going to show you in a second now with the second box I was talking about for Celtic we're going to be putting them in you need to click two boxes there and you need to put them over say first team here is Per Browistein. we're going to put them there Rangers will probably go next and then we'll probably have another Scottish team as well um, we will be doing probably a full SPL but for this, we just want to have a mix of maybe three teams per league. So maybe three from the Scottish Premier League. Uh, we're going to have a couple um, as well that we, we haven't announced yet, but we'll have some nice ones. I mean, some of the faces here, lads, are just ridiculous that the lads have made. Lewandowski, Xavi Alonso, Javi Martinez. We're going to actually be doing a showcase video quite soon. And again, here you go with this. Um, now, as I said, we are going to be updating this file as it comes along. So there is a couple of fake players in here. Um, but as I said, we will be updating it as it goes along. And we will be making changes to it uh, every now and again. But it was just to showcase that Celtic are going to be in there. It's basically changing the bin file. Once you change the bin file and re-import it, it literally takes a couple of minutes. We'll probably have it probably included tomorrow, to be honest. But just to show you what we are planning on doing. Then from this, this needs to be all manual. If you're putting all this on manual, uh, you need to actually do it yourself. As I said, that's what manual kind of means. But it's very simple. I mean, just follow it. Just follow a little quick guide. We will have one available on the website. But, I mean, it's there on Wikipedia. I mean, just have a look. You're basically putting the Premier League, name the Premier League. Type it in. Choose emblem. Pick the emblem. You don't need to change anything else. I mean, it's, it takes literally 20 minutes, 30 minutes to have this full option file installed. Last year, it took about 20 minutes to get two or three kits on. It was so fucking slow. Um and so tedious that literally like it was just impossible to follow guides and stuff like that with this I mean Konami have pulled it out of the drawer really to make us guys the kit editors and the option file uh, creators and stuff it's just been a dream I mean I know there's a few issues here and there um, but I mean look it's the it's it's a, it's a good direction I suppose and I mean obviously we're going to have version 2 pretty much done in two weeks time which will have everything in this file and more everything fixed every stadium every manager every everything so yeah that is it lads I've been a midnight kid I just want to say a quick bit on I suppose the kind of people out there that are um that are kind of spreading stuff and you know I know I don't usually comment on it and people are entitled to their opinion I mean I like people disagreeing with us sometimes and obviously as a YouTuber you have to get a thick skin but um you know you just have to realize like we're doing all this in our free time you know what I mean like everyone is doing it in their free time and uh it's just basically a, a hobby that's what it is and I mean we do like your support everything's going to be available for free as you can see there all the teams are in in the edit in the option file are in the main menu but um yeah that is it i don't want to go on too much i mean we obviously do what we're doing because we love it and stuff and it's a bit of crack but um yeah we do really appreciate the support obviously gold Very and silver sure, members please. have been amazing Players and all you guys as well that do support now. uh the rest of us on the channel it is amazing we do, we do appreciate it so yeah that is pretty much it i will talk to you in a while Peace.